Hi everyone and welcome to a very special blog hop. The WOW Embossing Design Team is actually combining with the Technic Tuesday Design Team for a fun-filled weekend. Today I have made a beautiful dragonfly card with the Technic Tuesday stamp set. I've also used um, bright, opaque bright white, my go-to, super fine for details um, and also the white pearl. So you're going to see that come into fruition later on. So today I have made previously while sitting at my desk a whole heap of alcohol inked panels and I've die cut with the coordinating dragonfly die which is from the inspired dragonfly collection um, and i've got a circle here die that i'm going to cut some vellum around now it is quite a subtle card it is using my favorites like i'm a white bright girl with white space and black card stock for sentiments that's my go-to it's just what i do so i played safe today but i just thought i'd bring you the vibrancy through the alcohol inks as well so that was wow um, cardstock this is super smooth like this is the best cardstock to use if you want crisp image so what I've got here is that white pearl um, I have cut the cardstock I actually just folded into half and I got my normal a two card base now I have don't know why I lost the film but I repeat stamped with my wow ultra slow dry ink on the front panel now because i am stamping all over i have stamped and heat embossed all over this white panel this is going to warp that it's what's going to happen so my trick to overcome that is is that i got two clean embossing um acrylic pads that you run through your your big shot or your die cutting i placed a scrap of card um white copy paper clean over over the top and I wound that through my big shot and that's what made that clear now because I did put a white paper on top of that which I didn't film um, because I didn't want the residue going on my clean mat it actually dulled that color slightly a little bit more so it took the sheen the shine off it so it it's like this matte pearl color on there it was beautiful um, and the card base is flat so that's my little tip for today i suppose um, and here are the dragonflies now i'm fiddling around an awful lot here with the actual layout of the card i was absolutely winging it i didn't have a vision in mind i just wanted to sit down and play and that's exactly what i did i turned on my my camera and I was really happy with the outcome so you probably didn't have to do a tone on tone with these butterflies and you could actually just mix and match because these colors just went beautifully well so now because I'm using vellum I needed to adhere this vellum down without using a liquid adhesive on it so I actually adhered down with foam tape on either side so the dragonflies had foam on it and stuck it on the vellum and then I also put another layer under put the vellum on and then underneath I put the square adhesives chopped up again so that way there was no liquid adhesive being used apart from the second layer of that dragonfly so here is the sentiment and i'm stamping that with the ultra slow clot dry ink and then also with my opaque my bright white opaque super fine the best absolutely hands down my favorite and then the stamp set I used was, which is the best is yet to be. Now I did because I've been, it's been a bit moist, too much moisture here in the air and humid here where I am. I actually had to use my anti-static powder tool on that black card, black card stop, and I made that the same length, um, width as my card base. And I just adhered that down with foam. I am going to finish it off with some pretty pink posh glass like these are almost like jewels they're beautiful and these go usually in my hoard vault and I tend not to break these out but I used it today I hope you come along and play for the fun filled weekend hop it we've got prizes the inspiration is through the roof with the design teams you're going to love it so thanks for stopping by and I look forward to reading your comments